bookworms. Today I'm going to be beginning a weekend vlog for you guys. I thought it'd be really fun to just kind of show you all the things that I'm doing this weekend because I have some exciting things planned. And I also really wanted to talk to you guys because I wrote probably one of the most personal blog posts that I've ever written and I'm going to be sharing it soon. I've been like editing it like crazy but I'm really happy with it and it really captures the way that I'm feeling. I am looking forward to sharing it with you guys but I figured I would also kind of chat about it with you in the video too. Just some life stuff. Going to talk about it a little bit later because Alexa and Mackie are actually coming over right now and we're going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons all day and we're going to be hunting vampires which is going to be really fun. I'm wearing my new Oran High School Host Club t-shirt that I got and I'm obsessed with it. Like look at the back. Don't mind my room. But how cool is the back of that t-shirt? I love it so much. I just got this at Hot Topic kind of recently. I also got this super adorable Detective Pikachu pop socket that I have to put on my phone at some point. <laughs> More later. Okay, so Mackie and Alexa have arrived and now that we've spent like two hours catching up on the Star Wars universe <laughs> Shadow and Shadowhunters, Shadow yes. we are ready to play our game and we're all just going to go around and tell you the types of characters that we play because a lot of you have been asking me in comments. So my name is Briar Oakenfeather and I am an elf slash uh, fairy hybrid type character and I'm also a warlock and I have a teacup pink dragon. My dragon is responsible for holding my dice. <laughs> okay. uh, I am Elias Dodge, a human rogue, because I'm basic. <laughs> Okay. Just your basic rogue. I mean, is he really Elias Dodge though all the time? Nobody, nobody really That's knows. true. A lot of people think Alexa is Elias Dodge at this point. Yeah, that's true. I have, I have lied many times. The rumors game. have not been disputed. Nobody <laughs> knows who actually is. Actually, if they, it depends on who's asking. Yeah. Depends exactly. on who's asking. Very well. Well, I play a character named Kira, and I'm dragonborn, but I'm also a monk. Very nice. And, and then I, we have our wonderful DM. I am Master of Ceremonies. Today we are venturing into the cursed uh, kingdom of Barovia. This is a homebrew based on the 5e sort of universe where in this world ancient kind of powerful beings have conspired to trap all of the major demons into amulets and creating something called the Abyssal Chain designed to hold off a bunch of uh, uh, devils at bay. So yes, they're demons and devils and such. And our three characters are here to try to make sure that the world doesn't fall into chaos when the chain is actually being broken as we speak. So this is their attempt to keep the world in one piece. Mm -hmm. Or or will they? Will they? Good question. So, that is today. Today we're gonna kill some vampires! <laughs> <laughs> So we had a successful campaign in Dungeons and Dragons. It is now nine o'clock at night or a little bit after nine. So we've been playing for like the entire day and I'm quite tired. So instead of chatting to you tonight about what I said I was going to, I think I'll be talking to you about it tomorrow before Andrew and I go out for Pokemon Go Community Day with our two friends, Matt and Claire. Yeah, I think Andrew and I are going to watch some anime. We're currently watching Chihaya Furu and then we'll probably go to sleep. That was our Saturday. Okay, it is officially the next morning and I thought it could be fun to do a little like kind of get ready with me and I will chat about what I was talking about yesterday. Trying something new and filming in my bathroom. This is my Death Star shower curtain that Andrew and I have. But yeah, I already put my foundation on because I wasn't sure where I was gonna do this and I knew that my beauty blender had to be wet so I already did that part. Now I'm like confused about what I do because I never have to talk while I do my makeup. I kind of like change up the order all the time of how I do it. So now I'm just gonna do my brows quick and I use this Too Faced stuff. Pretty much all of the makeup that I use is Too Faced. This is called Brow Quickie. But anyway, the whole point of this is I kind of had like one of those epiphany kind of moments a couple of weeks ago uh, when I was filming my otaku Otakuathon announcement and TBR video. I realized that I've kind of been treating YouTube like a full-time job and I already have a full-time job. So I don't want another full-time job. I just have too much to do and I kind of realized that I always feel really guilty if I'm not spending all of my free time reading 
because reading is what I use to create my content for YouTube. And obviously like I still love reading. I've still been reading quite a bit. I've just been reading differently than I have recently. So for the past like two weeks, I've kind of just been reading Star Wars books and manga because that's what I've been in the mood for and ignoring like everything else that I feel like I have to read has been really nice. And I've also been pretty relaxed about editing and filming videos, which I'm sure that you've noticed because I haven't really posted. I'm not like quitting YouTube or anything. I am going to continue posting videos, just not three videos a week because it's really a lot. And I get really stressed out and really anxious. And anytime that we have like family events that come up and we're like, we have to travel for those. So we'll be out and the whole time I'll be like thinking about what I'm not getting done by like being somewhere else or what I'm not able to read by being somewhere else. And it's awful. <laughs> and I've decided to stop that. Yeah, I'm kind of just reclaiming like my free time. My friend Alexa and I have been talking about this. So as I said, I wrote a blog post about it and I'll leave a link to that down below if you are curious about reading it because I do really feel like I articulated my feelings in writing much better than I am getting them across to you right now. Probably because I've had so much time to like go back and edit it and stuff. But I honestly have just like is really hard to put on eyeliner and talk. I, I like went back and read some of my old blog posts from when I first started like having a blog and sharing things online. And I think there's like this clear level of excitement that I had then that I just do not have now. And the whole reason that I started doing this stuff is because it's supposed to be fun for me. And obviously to meet other people who are into the, the same kinds of things as me and like that kind of stuff and make friends. So I kind of want to like go back to that and okay, that's slightly more even. So it's easy to get like wrapped up in numbers because you know that a whole book videos always do better than like videos where I share other interests like video games or well, Pokemon Go, which is like my favorite thing ever um, or anime or anything. And that I'm not going to let that bother me anymore because the way that I've been thinking about it is like some of my favorite accounts on Instagram have less Instagram followers than I do and get less likes than I do on photos and I so appreciate what they post or like so love what they post and there must be people that feel the same way about what I'm posting, hopefully. <laughs> So that's also kind of why I've been switching that up. I feel like Instagram, Instagram I've literally been doing every single day since I had this epiphany and I have never been so happy with one, my feed, two, just like the content that I've been posting. I feel so free and also I feel like Instagram used to be kind of something where I would be like, all right, I have to set aside this time to take photos and I'm gonna edit the photos and blah, blah, blah. And it was really hard to constantly come up with like fresh ideas and fresh ways to show off books. But since I've been posting a lot more like diverse content, I've gotten back into like taking photos in the moment and posting things that I'm like really excited about in the moment, which is how I want Instagram to be. So. That I think I've been doing the best job with and I'm still trying to kind of find my footing when it comes to YouTube and when it comes to blogging. Yeah, so pretty much what I'm saying is I'm going to be posting more other content aside from reading. I'm not going to be reading as much every month as I have been. I'm definitely going to continue mood reading and continue reading what I feel like reading and I'm not going to let myself feel pressured. And there are a lot of books I would say that I have read in the past couple of years that I wouldn't have read except for the fact that I felt like I needed to read them because either everyone was talking about them or like I felt like I had to weigh in with my opinion but I've definitely pushed through a lot of books that I haven't been as into. Um, I've definitely felt guilty about when I get books from, from publishers and I still like, I still maintain that if you are requesting a book, then yeah, it is up to you to read it and review it. But if you're getting something unsolicited, it's not really your choice. And I want to be better about like getting rid of those and using my library, not buying as many books. I think I'm going to do another unhaul very soon on my bookshelf. Um, just because also then in the future when Andrew and I 
get a house it will be a lot easier to move if we have less stuff and also like I was thinking about the books that I own that I have actually reread and there are so few like so of the like bajillion books that are on my shelf I have reread Name of the Wind I've reread Harry Potter obviously a bunch of times I've reread The Raven Boys a whole bunch of times and I reread the first Mistborn book because I want to continue with the series and I've also reread Fangirl on audio but that's it. Like, I really don't spend that much time rereading. So, of that, like, I'm just kind of keeping that in mind when I go through the books that I do have and try to be better about not needing physical books, whether I feel like I need to hold them up in a video or whether I feel like I want to get them because they have a pretty cover and it would be a good Instagram photo. I'm just not feeling as confined when it comes to content and what I share and all that kind of stuff. I'm kind of shifting. I'm definitely going to be posting, well there's this vlog which is kind of different um, because there's no reading in this vlog yet anyway. There could be later because I might be tired after community day. Yeah, I just kind of want to share what I'm excited about and make choices based on what I want to do versus what I feel like I need to do. That's pretty much that. So that is my makeup. I am now ready for the day. Adrian and I are gonna go food shopping. I still have to do my nails, make breakfast, all that kind of stuff. Then we're doing community day, as I said earlier. I have to think about what I said, if there's anything else that I wanna include. I feel like I should have had like notes or something with me so that I cover all the points, but really everything is listed out in my blog post, so. So we just finished food shopping, putting everything away, getting ready doing a little bit of cleaning before our friends come over and andrew and i are now going to play some let's go eevee i'm a poke wall i'm dressed for community day show them your cool necklace it's a necklace that kristen got me oh. from the fire nation everything changed when the fire nation attacked blurry very blurry <laughs> So that is our plan, and the next thing we're gonna do is head out for community day after we play some Let's Go Eevee. So I'll see you then. So Claire and I became lucky friends in Pokemon Go, and it's the first time that it ever happened for us. And we just did our first lucky trade, and she gave me a shiny snubble, and I am like the happiest person in the world because I've been looking for a shiny snubble forever. Yeah. So cute. So we are uh, in the park, yeah, and, and park. we hey. both have caught four shiny Torchic, or are you at five? I'm at four. Okay. You're, he five, usually has four, more than five. me, so. I was hanging out with a baby. That's true. Um, and we just did oh, an Azelf raid, and all five of us who did the raid together caught Azelf, which was really exciting. Um, but now we're just shiny torture hunting. And there Woo! are our friends. Hi. Hi, friends. Hi. See, I know people other than Andrew. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Okay, so our friends have left for the night. I just refilmed my Otakuathon TBR because I edited that this morning, but I actually read a lot of the manga that I said I was going to read already, so I kind of wanted to refilm it with an actual TBR. I wanted to sit down and have a little heart to heart with you guys and tell you how I've been feeling. I actually tried to do this a little bit earlier, but I found it really kind of challenging to articulate my feelings, but basically I've been feeling like I've been in a huge huge creative rut and it's really been disheartening and it's made it really difficult to film new videos and to be excited to film videos and to edit videos. A large part of that is because so much of the content that I create online is dependent upon me consuming other content. I've always been someone who really likes creating things. I like doing crafts. I like writing. I love having theme parties and planning and bullet journaling and all of the things where I feel like I'm the one that is creating something and I feel like I have fallen into a really bad routine when it comes to booktube when it comes to youtube because I feel so guilty <laughs> when I am not reading if I'm doing anything else whether it is like enjoying a video game or watching a television show or something or just like anything else online sometimes even watching youtube i'm like this is kind of a waste i should be reading instead so i can be getting things done so that i can have content for my channel and it's really exhausting and i'm kind of over it. <laughs> I get extremely anxious and stressed out if I have plans with friends at night or something during the week. I 
go to things and I try to act as normal as I possibly can, but inside I am going crazy and just thinking about what I should be doing and how I should be either reading or I should be editing or I should be filming and it's not fun. <laughs> reading is a huge hobby of mine and one of the things that I want to stress is that I've been a reader for as long as I have been capable of reading. That's something that's like never gonna go away from my life and I've always been a huge reader no matter what and no matter what form whether I read graphic novels, whether I read manga, whether I read full blown novels, whether I listen to audiobooks, like whatever it is, I'm, I love stories. So that's something that's like not gonna change for sure. But the rate at which I consume them is definitely going to be changing. I really want to share my other interests and I know that I shared a video like this last summer on my YouTube channel talking about how I was gonna make some channel changes and I was gonna share more videos with Andrew, more vlogs and more stuff like that because we're in New York and I really love New York and I feel like New York is a really great place to like show off different vlogs. Capture the other things that I really love like video games and fun tags and like getting to know me a little bit better and that kind of stuff. I didn't do it. <laughs> I totally fell back into my same booktube rut and I've worked really hard this past I want to say month to kind of break that habit and and really break that mindset of mine and I feel like I've done a really good job of it so I feel comfortable posting this now because I don't think that it's something that I'm gonna fall back into and we visited family like two weeks ago and I felt totally calm and totally like at peace with being there and not being home and not worrying about filming or anything. I haven't posted as many videos recently and it's because I've been focusing on so many other things and I really have been enjoying my free time that I have to myself. I'm still planning on sharing videos, I'm not quitting YouTube or anything, I just am trying to strike a better balance between consuming and creating. I think that's everything. I think I covered everything that I want to say. I am really thankful that I have Andrew because he is a wonderful and positive person and he's so good about reminding me about like what's really important. After filming my otaku on TBR like two weeks ago it really like that wave of excitement kind of came back and even like Instagram I've been so excited to post on Instagram every day. I've been loving all of the photos that I've been taking and it's because I'm not just confining myself to book photos. I'm treating Instagram the way that I used to treat it and the way that I think it should be treated as a more instant like Instagram. A more instant platform it's really like I'm excited about this thing right now so I'm gonna post this thing right now <laughs> I kind of want to do the same thing with YouTube so those are my thoughts I hope that you enjoyed this little kind of chat that we just had I think I'm also going to be wrapping up the vlog here for the weekend I hope that everyone else had a great weekend and I will see you guys soon in a new video bye